Hi boys and girls, today we are learning about octopus and squid. So we're gonna do a guided drawing of an octopus. And then at the end, we're going to do something with math. We're gonna do some counting and get some suckers on our octopus. Okay, to get started, you'll wanna have a big piece of paper because this octopus is gonna be huge. You'll need something to draw with. I've got my marker. We're also gonna be using some water paints a little later on, so you'll need your water paints and a cup of water. Okay, well, to get started, let's make the head of our octopus. I want you to find the middle of your paper, and I want you to make um, an upside down U, okay? An upside down. So it's like we're making a big hill or an upside down U. Now, octopus do have eyes, but they do not have a mouth that's on the front part of their head. Their mouth is underneath, so you don't see their mouth. So we're just gonna make two big eyes. You can make your eyes however you want, but we're not gonna give our octopus a mouth there because his mouth is up underneath, we can't see it. Now, we need to add those um, arms or legs or tentacles, uh, we found out that that octopus actually have six arms and two legs, so together it makes eight. Um, and we used to call them all tentacles, but technically they're not all tentacles. But let's go ahead and get started on those. I want you to make a curvy line out. See how curvy I made that? And then I want you to follow it back in, but to give a little bit of space. So there's one arm. Okay, I'm gonna do that again. I'm gonna make another curvy line, and then I'm going to go back and just leave a little bit of space so it makes another arm of my octopus. I have two. You keep going. We wanna have eight all together, okay? Isn't it fun making these curvy lines? Okay, I've got four. That makes five. Make that one really long. Six, seven. I think I'll make that one go up here. Eight, and then we want to connect it back to his head. Okay, awesome. Well, we've got our eight um, arms or legs or it's kind of a combination of both, but we need to go ahead and make this octopus colorful. So now we get to take our um, water paint and I want you to um, color this octopus in. Oh, I almost forgot one part. We need to draw on the suckers. Now we're gonna add some other suckers a little bit later on, those suction cups, but what I want you to do is I want you just to start drawing circles. There can be some small circles, some big circles, all on the arms and legs of your octopus. So see how I'm making some big and some small? Now, the actual suckers, or those suction cups, are on the underneath part, but sometimes when you draw an art project, you kind of uh, get a little creative. So we're putting our suckers all over. It's almost like you're, you're seeing the underneath part of the octopus's arms. I think you get the idea. So I want you just to make tons of circles. In fact, do you remember how many suckers an octopus can have? Up to 240, yeah, so that's a lot. So I don't think we'll have 240, but we're just gonna make lots of circles. Can't believe I almost forgot this part. making some big, some small. It's okay if they kind of come off the arms a little bit. You'll see what we're gonna do in just a minute with this. Got one more arm to get on there. Now, if you really wanna add a mouth to your octopus, that is fine. You could give your octopus a mouth. Just know that a real octopus, their mouth is underneath. You wouldn't see it on the front there. Okay, so now we're ready to start painting. So I'm gonna get to work using my water paints and here's what I'd like you to do. I'd like you to pick one color for your octopus's head and its body, but then I want you to make all these different suckers or suction cups 
different colors, like a rainbow octopus. Won't that be cool? So I'm gonna get to work on mine. I think I'm gonna make um, my octopus's body. I think I'm gonna do blue, maybe like a, a bluish purple. So I'm gonna work on that part first and fill this all in. I love water painting. Do you guys like water painting? I think it's fun. In fact, I think it's a relaxing thing for moms and dads to do. If they've never tried it, have mom and dad try to water paint. They might find that they really like to water paint. Okay, well there's the, the head of my um, octopus. But, and I still wanna go through and add some more blue, but I wanted to show you what I meant about the suckers. I just want you to pick all different colors. I'm gonna make this one yellow. I think I'm gonna make this one green. I think I'll make this one over here green. Oh, maybe that one green too. I think I'll make this one purple and this one purple. Do you see how I'm making my suckers all different colors? I'm just making them really colorful. Now, a real octopus would not have all these different colors of suckers, most likely. But once again, we're doing an art project and sometimes you can just, uh, you wanna get creative and have fun with your art. Just like we said, you could add a mouth on your octopus if you wanted. Okay, well, I'm gonna finish painting. I want you to work on painting and then join me in the next part when we add some more suckers in a special way to our octopus. Water painting my octopus. I made um, his main body uh, blue and purple, but then I, I made all the different suckers different colors. Now, I need to set this down on a flat surface and show you how we're going to do this next part. We are going to make our octopus kind of 3D, so you're gonna need some glue, and then you'll need something that you can use as suckers. Now, I'm gonna give you a couple ideas, but I want you to get creative. Find something that you have at home. In fact, I was hoping to find some Cheerios. I, I wanted to use Cheerios for my suckers, but the kids ate them all. So, the next best thing I thought of were some perler beads. We've got these little perler beads. I know some of you like to use perler beads at your house. I also had some pistachios as a snack today, and the shells of a pistachio remind me of what the sucker might look like. I also have these little pieces of straw that I cut up. So get creative. Maybe look in your recycle bin. Maybe there's something in there. You could even cut out uh, little circles. But if you want to make it 3D, if you want it to stand out, find something in your house that you could glue on like Cheerios or cereal or perler beads. So I'm gonna show you what to do. You're just gonna wanna take some uh, runny glue and put a dot of glue on your suckers that you already colored. And then I want you just to add whatever it is that you found. So I'm adding some pistachio shells to some of my big suckers that I, I made. I'm just spreading those out. And then I might use some uh, perler beads on the smaller ones. I'm using these uh, big uh, pistachio shells on the big suckers that I drew because I want you to still be able to see some of the color behind it. And then I think I'll, I'll take some of these perler beads and add them on the inside. In fact, I might even try to find, I've got a purple perler bead and I made that one purple. Oh, I made this one green. I can make this one green. I want you to get creative and see if you can cover all of your suckers that you drew on there, your little suction cups. See if you can make them 3D. Now, do you remember that an octopus can have up to 240 suckers? That is a lot 
of suckers on their tentacles, on their arms. Did you also know that they can use those um, suckers to hold up to 35 pounds? That is a lot, amazing. Well, I can't wait to see how your octopus turn out. And here's my challenge to you. Could you count the suckers on your octopus when you're all done? And could you write down how many suckers you were able to get onto your octopus? I have quite a lot on here, so it's gonna take me a while to count, but that's okay. It'll be great practice. Maybe you'll be able to get up to 240. I don't know, but have fun, kiddos. See you later.